America, it's time to get real. Out of the tens of thousands of letters, emails, and videos you've sent in, the message is crystal clear. You are desperate to make a change. I need help. I'm not happy. But there's only one problem that stands in the way. One of my weaknesses is chili cheese fries. He's fat. You can't resist temptation. I would like a large iced caramel latte, please. And temptation isn't just about food. I eat compulsively. Sometimes I'll shop compulsively. Money is a huge temptation for me. I get it. The real world is tough. That's why we've handpicked 16 contestants, eight couples just like millions of Americans who can't resist temptation. For families... Our daughter is 12 years old. I would consider Kaylee overweight at this point. We have set really bad examples for her, and she is taking after us. Twin brothers. We're health teachers and PE teachers that are overweight. We're hypocrites. Best friends. We're both nannies and we met at a play date. We're here together because we got into this together. And we need to get <laughs> out, out of this together. This season, we changed up everything. The gym. And for the first time, the teams will face off on not one, but two scales. And after 16 seasons of being a trainer, I'm not just training them, I'm also their host. They'll go head to head in an epic battle between two brand new teams. Team Jen and Team Dolvet. Get ready for a biggest loser unlike anything you've ever seen before. Oh. God. <laughs> hey y'all! Oh Are we partners? I'm rich. Are you ready to make a change? The choice is all yours. And you know what? I'm here to help. The new Biggest Loser starts right now. Someone's coming out of the gym. Who is it? Somebody's coming! <laughs> Was it? Oh. Is it Bob? Oh. I'm looking at Bob Harper coming around the corner. Oh I'm thinking, I bought your Biggest Loser DVDs. I had those DVDs, and here you are. And here I am. Welcome <laughs> to the all-new Biggest Loser. <laughs> the Biggest Loser is all about change. And this season, we have changed up everything. Uh... <laughs> We've changed the house. <laughs> oh. We've changed that gym. Oh. And we've even changed me. Oh. Really? Because this season, I'm not just training you. What? I'm your new host. Yeah! <laughs> that is so awesome! You all arrived here as couples to make a change. We've got mothers and daughters, husbands and wives, siblings, best friends. And we've got one team that's just a little different. <laughs> They've never met until right here. The second. And right now. Aaron, you were on the hit show, The Voice. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. And now you're here. I am. My name is Aaron Willett. I'm 26 years old, and you may recognize me from season two of The Voice. The day that I found out that I was going to be on The Voice was also the day that I found out that my father had cancer. My father was dying. And with all of the stress and trying to deal with everything, I turned to food. And by the time the show was over, I had gained around 40 pounds. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm really, really nervous right now. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I'm like, oh my god, it's <laughs> I'm psyched. Don't mess with me. I don't wait, want to wait, be on wait, your wait, wait. I have a reputation for winning. Okay, well then there we go. Most people would probably recognize me from the original Survivor. Uh, I won that series. But Survivor was strictly about winning. And the the win here for me is health. I'm over. 300 something pounds and I'm ready. Since season one, we have been helping hundreds and hundreds of people begin a new life right here at the ranch. But once you leave, it's all up to you. And that comes down to two things, 
temptation and bad choices. Because if you can't resist temptation and you make bad choices, well then, I mean, you don't stand a chance. So this season, every single thing we do is to get you ready for your life at home. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you ready? Yes! Good. It all starts right now. You see those treadmills? Let's go. I got my dress clothes on. What's gonna happen This is here? my Sunday best. You're not gonna give me some shorts or anything? Did I mention this is my Sunday best? I love this clothes. It's time to find out if you can make the right choice in one of the toughest temptations that we face every single day, money. So for your very first temptation, I'm gonna give you all a choice. You can quit right now, and I'll give you this. $5,000. Don't turn around. All you have to do is stop what you're doing, hit that button behind you, and you and your partner get the cash. But if you take the cash, it's game over. You and your partner are gonna be out of the competition for good. Am I worth more than $5,000? Yes. $5,000 will go like that. Yeah. I probably would Spend wouldn't... it at the airport. I mean, exactly. <laughs> How does $5,000 sound, you guys? What? Not a what? chance. What? No, hablo inglés. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's make the deal a little sweeter. Let's take it up to $10,000. In climbs up to a 10. 10? I am testing each and every one of you. I want you to make sure that you really be want be to here. be here. Money talks, unfortunately. You know, all you gotta do is tap the button. It's just there, just, just tap the button. <laughs> do you have what it takes to be here? Yes. yes. Do you have that fight? Yes. Do you have that inner tiger that is going to come out? Absolutely. That's right. You got it, baby. Fight. Three, <laughs> two, one. Slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> Toy, what you think about right now, baby? I don't want it to defeat me. That's what I want you to... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. That's what I really want you to think about. Come on. It won't defeat you. I'm just driven by my emotions because I don't want to quit. I want to prove that I deserve to be here. I want to prove that I need to be here. You know what the easy way is? Quitting. Easy way is quitting. Go home, and then just go back into those old ways. What happens if you go home, baby? No. I know. I'll just go back and say thing. Over and over again. I'll just eat myself That's back right. into a hole. Right. You don't want to do that. You know what that feels like. I will tempt you. I will challenge you. I will push you every chance I can. And you can take all this. I am raising the money. The money is going up. $20,000. $20,000 is a lot of money. Is that the price for your help? No, no. Colby, tell me what $20,000 means to you. Our bills, we'd be zero. Everything would be paid for, everything. So basically, you're feeling this temptation right now? I can't buy thin. That's a T-shirt right there. <laughs> you just remember who come up with it, Mr. Bob? <laughs> That's a T-shirt right there. I can't buy thin. I can't. I don't 
think I realized it was going to be this hard. 20000 That's a lot of money for people like us. And I just began to think about, I'm having so much trouble, and it's nobody's fault but my fault. I feel like I can't do this. I, I can't do this. Let me pull this leg out. Vicky, did you press that button? Did you press that button? Did you press that button? You've seen how much of a difference The Biggest Loser can make in the lives of our contestants. And The Biggest Loser lifestyle is accessible at home no matter where you live. Let's go. Discover The Biggest Loser lifestyle. Go to BiggestLoser.com today. Vicky, did you press that button? Let me pull this, pull this leg out. Okay. You doing okay? You doing okay? I had trouble on the treadmill because of what I've done. Vicki, you're in good hands right now. And it's nobody's fault but my fault. It makes me more motivated to want to stay here and not take the money because the money's not going to fix what's wrong with me. Everything's going to be OK, baby. You're great. <laughs> you want to fail? <laughs> I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. And I work in the clinic as a nutritionist, too. As a nutritionist, I know what I should be doing. And I'm preaching this false message, expecting these people to do it, and I'm not even doing it myself. I don't want Lauren to be me in 23 years. I don't want Lauren to be 53 and fat. You didn't press that button. That's the only time that you would quit. You did not quit. All right, people, I am going to try to tempt you one more time. $25,000. 25 mm -hmm. grand is a lot of money, but... Split it two ways, take taxes yeah. out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who pays taxes? <laughs> Rob, $25,000, what does it mean? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Whitney, $25,000, what does it mean? I'm more than $25,000. You are worth more than $25,000, baby. I can see that. Colby. Yes, sir. Can't buy thin, huh? Can't buy thin. Can't buy thin. Vicky, you are not out. You did not hit that red button. Luis. I got two boys and a wife waiting for me at home. And they want me to be around for a very long time. $25,000 doesn't mean anything to me. Roberto, what about you, brother? That means I go home, I buy a cheeseburger, and die in five years. That's right, Roberto. Steven, talk to me. $25,000. That's a lot of money. It is, but health is more important. And my kids are more important. All right, everybody. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, get these, everybody. Get these. 5, get these. 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. Slow it down. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Please give yourself all a great big hand right now. <laughs> Everyone press stop. Everyone stops. I made it through. This shows me that I deserve to be here. And I'm proud of myself for that. This is a really, really big deal. You don't even know what a big deal it is. You were tempted by money and a lot of it. $25,000. I mean, you didn't press the button. Good job, Daddy. You guys have all earned the right to go in this gym. And that's where we're going right now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I'm extremely proud of my little girl. She did it. I knew she could do it. And uh, I'm proud of myself. I am super excited to go into that gym. I'm like, yes, show me, show me, show me the way, Sensei. <laughs> Welcome to the brand new Biggest Loser Gym. Yeah. And let me tell you, this season, it is game on. This gym is divided in two. This side, we've got Team Jen. 
When they hit the light on Jen, I'm like, what a rocking body. She's got it going on. And on this side, we have Team Dolvac. Say hello to everyone, you guys. What's up, guys? On a scale from 1 to 10, Dolvet is probably a 12 or a 13 in the hot department. Keep it going up. Yeah. <laughs> the scale's but... broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's infinite. All right, good. So now, this gym is filled with the latest technology, cutting-edge equipment, and it's all powered by Planet Fitness, home of the judgment-free zone with over 1,000 locations nationwide. Our amazing partners at Planet Fitness are giving each of you a one-year gym membership. So, when it's time for you to go home, you'll be able to continue your journey. That's awesome. You may have watched Olvet and Jen in the past seasons, but what you don't know is, well, they've been watching you too. And even though you may have a favorite, you don't get to pick them. They're going to pick you. Ooh, and they're going to do it right now. <laughs> I've got a coin. Whoever this coin lands on gets to pick first. You guys ready? Yes. Ready. Let's do it. <laughs> We've got Team Jen. Let's go. All right, Jen. You'll be first. Okay. I'm picking my team this year based on the qualities they possess. I want a little bit of everything. I'm not just looking to build a team. I'm looking to create a family. All right, Team Jen. Yeah. You've got the first pick. Who's it going to be? I'm really competitive. And I'm also very much about team. I thought, who better than to have my two Chicago hype men be the foundation of Team Jen? Luis, Roberto, you are with me. Jen just picked us, and it's awesome. But with that great news, now we have to worry about being the first pick and now living up to the hype. Delvet, who's your first pair going to be? This particular couple has been through a lot, but I think they're ready. That's why I chose Steve and Jack. Let's go. You're welcome, dude. <laughs> oh my you ready? I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I definitely have one of the greatest jobs in the world. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. To help someone discover how to forgive, how to let go, it's a great responsibility that I really, truly enjoy. Ho, Kobe, <laughs> y'all gonna be on Team Jen. I look at these people, these amazing people. Toy and Brittany. Don't cry. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. And I see fear. I'm here. Show what? But I also see hope. It's really all you need. Rob and Sarah, you're mine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so Rob, Sarah, what are you thinking? I just don't feel like I'm worth picking, so it means so much to me. <laughs> These couples come here with the hope that someone will invest in them. I'm hoping that through this process, they will learn to invest in themselves. All right, Delvet, it's all up to you right now. I have gotten versions of this person on television, but I don't think it's the truth. Let's get to the core of things. Richard, along with Richard, I saw this young lady's video, and I thought, I remember seeing her. <laughs> because I watched that show all the time. More importantly, I remember the time that you were doing the show, and you lost someone very special to you. I also lost my father as well. But one thing I know is this. I never allow pain to own me. I want to teach you that. This is my next team, Richard and Aaron. Thank you. I'm definitely excited to be on Team Dolvet. He seems like he's going to inspire us and push us beyond our limits, or at least what we think are our limits. All right, Jen. There is maybe more desire in these two than anybody else that's here tonight. And yet, there's something that's not connecting. And for you, Lauren and Vicky, I want to be the person that helps you succeed. Yay. Thank you. Delvet, what are you going to say to this final team? 
You both are fighters. I love fighters. So if you'd have me, I'll take you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, these are your team. Your first workout is tomorrow morning, and it is going to get ugly in here. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Coming up. It was the best thing that had ever happened to me. Terrible things happen to really good people that deserve forgiveness. And later, you're not going to be facing the Biggest Loser scale. You're going to be facing two of them. Day one. one yeah, two. yeah, yeah. The last time I walked into a gym was never. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. So the start of something new and challenging. Keep up. This season on The Biggest Loser is so new and different to see that line down the center, to have it in your face that I've got one team here against one team here. Like, it's on in the new gym. And plus, I couldn't wait to mark up the floors. <laughs> Welcome to the new Biggest Loser gym. Yes. Now that you're here, you're going to get the right tools you need to be healthy for the rest of your life. One of the most important tools that you have in the gym isn't a piece of equipment. It's actually right on your wrist. We have given each of you a Biggest Loser Vivo Active by Garmin. Yeah. It tracks your heart rate, calories burned, and it's a GPS smartwatch. So it actually gives you these accurate stats, whether you're running or biking or swimming or even just working out in this gym. And it allows us to track what you're doing moment to moment right up there. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> Whitney. You can see you're at 62%. That's where your heart rate is, OK? The calories burned so far is 133 calories. I'm going to push you, and I expect you to push you. That's going to help us know who's doing what. Yeah? Yeah. This season is all about making the right choices, and this is going to help you do it. All right, you ready to rock? Ready. Let's roll. You guys ready to rock? Yes. Let's do what we do. Brand new gym. Brand new you. Let's go! These couples haven't pushed themselves in years. They've found comfort and complacency. 20, My job 19, is to 18. take away that complacency. Don't you stop! <laughs> My style of training is tough love. This is the warm-up. Keep going! I'm going hard on them because this is rock bottom. I want to push them so they never experience rock bottom again. That's it! That's it! Time! Step off to the side. Use the gym built for you to build the life that you want. I am not looking for you to quit. I'm looking for you to conquer, OK? Pretty early on, it's clear that there's a huge difference between Delvet's training style and my own. I got to tell you what, you look good, but I'm going to help you be great. I want to show each of my contestants how strong they are, because they don't believe it. And seeing is believing, especially on day one. <sighs> Let's go, up and go. Get those heart rates up, dig in. Not yet, not yet. Don't look behind you. Let's go. Push, 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 push. Come on, push. Strong, strong, strong. I've never been athletic, so doing this workout, I'm seeing, you know, other people who may have been more athletic in points in their life, and I feel like I'm definitely dragging behind the rest of the team. I need to stand up. I need you to see where you're going. Yes. I really can't. You've gotten so used to quitting on yourself. Don't quit now. Last night when we were picking teams, Sarah shared with me that she doesn't feel very worthy. And I'm watching her in this workout, and there's this fear that's paralyzing her. Sarah's a young woman. She's, she's only 27 years old, but she's a wife. She's a mother. And this fear is overshadowing her ability to even start this process. Sarah, finish. Get to me. Stay here a second. We didn't finish. We didn't finish. <laughs> My whole life, I've compared myself to other people. It's always been about, you know, Sarah is not as pretty as that person, or Sarah's not as skinny as that person. <laughs> Sit up and look at me. Say, I have. I have. I have. The power. To be worthy. To be worthy. I need you to believe in what you're capable of and that you're worth it. 
You have to let go of the shame you feel for allowing it to get that far. I'm beginning to see I, I didn't just really pass down an overeating problem. I passed down the feeling of worthlessness to my daughter. You're here with her now, and that's all that matters. This is when she needs you more than ever. Be the strength beside her. Here we go. Aaron, 606 calories. We got work to do, OK? Go, 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 go! Everything you got, not something, everything. Let's go! I watched The Voice. I knew Aaron could sing. I didn't know she had this in her. Last one, best one. No, OK. What I don't understand is why she's here. Time! <sighs> you lost weight before. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. You know, I was just like trying to like suppress how I felt about my dad when he died. And so then moving out to LA, just like you start comparing yourself to everybody. And because of my weight, I was trying to find like easy ways to just lose weight fast. And I was doing it. Being in, in the entertainment industry, you get lost in the illusion of it all. I wanted the focus to be off of my weight. I ended up losing 50 pounds. I was puking. That's how I did it. And it was the only secret that I've ever had in my entire life. I just didn't want to be the fat girl anymore. And um, it is like, uh, it like. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. You're now in a space right now, Aaron, where you can say, OK, I'm going to remold me in a healthy way. That's what I want. We'll work it out. Thank you. Down. We are breaking in this gym, aren't we, guys? I'll think about the life you're building right now with every step. Step through. Go. Go. Yes. Go. I'm going Come to Come on, team. Fast. Go, Toy. Get those knees up. Is that Felicia? Go. 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 I'm going too fast. Go. You didn't do five and five on both sides? Yeah, I did. You did not do five and five on both sides. I just left. Oh, well, whatever that. I don't know how many that was. Do five on this leg now and do another five on that okay. leg. OK, got it. Everybody comes to the ranch with baggage. I just can't allow them to use it as a crutch. And when it comes to Felicia, this is a girl that will use every excuse in the book. The only way to get through to her is to not even allow the excuses to begin. Stand tall. Stand tall. Stand tall. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Keep going. Keep pushing yourself. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I don't want excuses! Go, get back on it in five seconds. Four, three, two, go! I think Dolvet's training style is definitely hard for me. Having a man screaming at you in your face. You haven't been working. That's not motivating. You think I'm gonna not push you? No, I know no, you we're, are. We're, bo we're both not gonna be on the same team that way. Oh, All right? Oh I'm on a team of pushing you to greatness, okay? I get know. on that treadmill and you work. I've been Get on my treadmill and work. I'm serious. Go, go, go. When I'm hugging that treadmill, all I can think of is I wish I had taken the 25,000. I wish I had left then. It would have been so much easier to take the 25,000 and go home. <laughs> go. Show me. 25 seconds. This is the push. Get stronger. Day one, the sweating. <laughs> Work for me! Crying, <laughs> bleeding, <laughs> puking. So oh, good. It is not going to be a new gym anymore. Five, four, three, two, do not Time! I did this on purpose. I did a very different workout than you saw across the way. There was a lot ahead of us, but I want to tell you right now, do you guys think you could have done anything that I gave you today? No. No. And you guys handled it really, really well. I'm really proud of you. All right, bring it in. Gen on three. One, two, three. DJ! I'm about to get real with you. I'm going to tell you about me and the type of coach I am. I've been doing this for six seasons. I'm not your friend. Not in this house. I'm not going to coddle you. That's not me. You've had that already in your life. If you want that, go home and get it. You're not going to get it from Dalvet. I see the ones that fade in the back when we're working out. I need you to push yourself. I need you to not give up. I pulled it together at the end. No, you won't. I don't believe you. I'm telling you straight up, me and you, everybody else, I don't believe you. 
Okay. I think you're going to be the first to go home. I need you to prove me wrong. How's everyone doing? Yeah. yeah. What um, I want you guys to realize when we are all together talking, I don't see the color of your shirt. Okay? My investment is with you as a whole. I've been a trainer on The Biggest Loser for 16 seasons, but now I'm the host. So I get to work with all of the contestants in a completely different way. And what I want them to realize is that it's not just about weight loss. It's an emotional journey, too. This place is not a fun place. Like, this house is like a drug rehab. And rehab is meant to be hard. It is meant to make you uncomfortable and empowered. That's why we're here. It's like, I think about the two of you with your kids, right? And you're here. You have left your children to come here together. Yep. You know, you talked about a rehab. We have food addictions. I mean, and we don't want to pass on the, the bad habits to our kids. And it's, it's hard. I can totally relate to uh, what Steve's saying there. She's never seen the real me. She never saw uh, the confident uh, businessman that got it done. And I just want her to see that. My dad is my hero. You know, he's such a fighter, and the only person he doesn't fight for is himself. I think for you, being able to hear your daughter when she calls you the hero, I think you just taking that in as hard as it is for you because you don't believe her. You don't, you don't believe those words. And I think that that for you is going to be such a great first step. I get home, my little Jacob comes up and he's like, Dad, let's play. He just wants to play with his hero. No, mijo, you know, just go, go sit over there. Go play in the living room. Instead of me saying, mijo, let's go outside and we're going to run, here is his dad chowing down on chips, drinking down a pop. And I see him out of the corner of my eyes. I see him. Toy. What are you thinking right now? Just listening to all the stories, talking about their kids and stuff, I was just thinking about mine. I just miss them. I've just always dealt with a lot of guilt. What do you have to feel guilty about? I think just not being able to protect my son. And tell me about that. Um. When your parent, your one job in life is to protect your child. And I just didn't do that. I, because I didn't save him. I didn't, I wasn't able to Just. How did you not protect your son? I should have had my life together. It was just, I was homeless and I was staying with Brittany's mom and Brittany was there and we were sleeping on the couch. I told him to go put him in the room and Someone went out the back door, and when they came in, they didn't shut it. And he woke up and walked right outside. He woke up and what? He walked right outside, and he drowned. <laughs> and I had to pull him out the pool. It was CPR, but I couldn't save him. I just... <laughs> It was the best thing that had ever happened to me. Just the best thing that ever happened in my life. And I did not do what I was supposed to do. I had one job. And I didn't do it. I 
knew he was an angel. I should have been able to do something. I should have been able to save him. I am so sorry for your loss. Man, there's nothing nobody can say, because it was my fault. I was his mom. And that's the guilt that you're carrying with you. <laughs> What's it going to take to forgive yourself? What is it going to take? I don't think there's anything. I don't know how to even begin to. I don't know. I know you can't hear this. I'm telling you, just like I want, I want him to feel that hero that his daughter feels, I want you to know what I see is someone that deserves forgiveness. I see it. And so until you can feel that way, know that there are people out there that look at you and want nothing more than for you to be able to forgive yourself. Terrible things happen to really good people that deserve happiness, that deserve, most of all, more than anything else, forgiveness. We all deserve it. We all deserve it. Thank you for sharing that. I know that's a very hard thing. And I am so glad you're here in this house because you're gonna make something of yourself again here in this house. I have to believe that. You know, it is safe to say that I have never healed from it because I've never really talked about it. But to have people who are going through some of the same struggles and having Bob there to listen to us actually felt good. Coming up, it all comes down to this. Whoa. And later, money is a huge temptation for me. Those two temptations up there are big. Hello, everyone. Walking up to the first challenge, we are so terrified. We look up and see these enormous ladders, and we don't know why they're there <laughs> and what we're supposed to do with them. In your first temptation, you chose between a stack of cash or a spot on the ranch. Once again, we're gonna find out how much your health is really worth. But this time, it's not for a stack of cash. Aww. What the heck? There's a ton of it. What? what the heck? Each team has their own armored car filled with bags of money. So the first part of your challenge, you have to move all that money onto a scale. As you do, a ladder will lower to the ground. Once you get all the money on the scale, the ladder will reach the ground. And one couple from each team, a power couple, will make their way to the top where they'll find a vault and a decision to be made. The first power couple to make it to the vault will be faced with two temptations. And let me tell you this, those two temptations up there are big. So the fate of the entire team rests in their hands. I think Red Team's got it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> bring it. That's what I got to tell you. Bring right. it. That's what I love about this season. The competition in this house is on. All right. Who is going to be the power couple for Team Dolvet? All right. We have decided that Aaron and Richard are the team that's going to take us to the top. One, I think that they know that I'm going to push myself. And I also think that Richard has a great knack for just strategy. Although I sense that they're worried about my reputation, per se, from other adventures. All right, Hope. Our power couple are the Chi-Town twins, Roberto and Luis. Team Dovet, you're about to get a whole oh. lot of twin power. That's right, baby. I'll see you guys at the top. All right. Good luck. All right, athletes. 
Let's go! Don't get down, just stay up. The armored vehicle plan is to station two people at the armored car to remove the bags and then have the rest of the team circulate through. Get down, let him push him. Our strategy is to knock down the bags, and then us as a team, we're going to pick up bags and take them to the scale. Both Team Jolvet and Team Jen have 55 bags. All right, you guys, you're looking good. I think the bags are somewhere around 30 pounds, and one bag of 30 pounds is it's challenging. The ladder's coming down. They're putting so much strain on their back by lifting up those bags. I'm conserving a lot of energy. Right here, Whitney, on my shoulder. Because Stephen and Whitney are just placing my bags on my shoulders. This is a challenge. You want to win. This is your very first challenge this season. Brother, let me try it on the shoulder. It's killing my back. It looks like Team Dolvet has all of their money bags. And now well done, it's time well for that climb. Team Jen is right behind them. They are wrapping it up neck and neck. The ladder is now down. Richard is slow and steady, but Roberto is coming up from behind. One at a time, Richard, one at a time. Roberto and Lewis, they're beasts. I don't think they know how to give up. I climbed like 10 steps in a row. I kind of almost catch up, Richard. I'm by his feet already. It's tough. This is for your family. <sighs> this is for respect. But Roberto's got his click again. He's got that click in his step moving up. I'm using one leg to push, and I'm just holding on with my arms. And I'm doing it to the best of my ability. It all comes down to this. I hear my team cheering me on. That gives me good motivation to keep going. And here I am, like the little engine that could. We're thinking, Richard, come on, you got this. You're Strong, a competitor. One step at a time. That's all you need to be thinking about, you guys. One step at a time. <laughs> oh, oh, God. One step at a time. That's all you need to be thinking about, you guys. One step at a time. Buddy. One. Oh. Whoa. Oh, 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 Roberto loses his step. There you go, Roberto. I'm not done. That's what I want to show people that. You know, you get your ass back up and you keep fighting. You got it, Roberto. Just one step at a time. Roberto is back. So close. Richard has almost made it to the top. And then it'll be Aaron's turn. I'm definitely freaking out a little bit because I'm seeing Roberto fall off the ladder. And I know that I'm going to have to be right up there within a couple minutes. So I know I have to hold on for dear life. And Richard is right here on the top. Welcome to the top, Richard. Excellent. Aaron's coming up for Team Dolvet. Once I get on the ladder, I definitely realize it's a lot harder than I think it is. Roberto's starting to get that movement again. It is scary to look over at Lewis and Roberto and I've seen them in the gym. They they don't give up. Roberto is back. Hang on, let's go. Aaron, don't out the noise. One at a time. <sighs> Roberto falls again. Come. <sighs> Roberto is tapped out. We're going to lower him to the ground. Great job, Roberto. Uh, on the way down, uh, a lot of things running through my mind. How disappointing am I, uh, am I to the team? You know, I let my brother down. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to let my family down at home. Oh, oh, man. Man. 
Aaron is getting closer and closer to the top. We got this. Okay. The challenge isn't over yet. Inside your vault, you'll find two temptations. Choose wisely. What decision are they making? What are they doing? We don't know. Is there water? Not right yet. Not till we make our decision. People often talk about, do you have your teams back? That's, that's that superficial nonsense. I'm a little bit bigger picture than that. We definitely have to do what's best for the team, but at the end of the day, Richard is my partner, and we have to do what's best for us as well. Pull it open. Ready? OK. Boom. You have an important choice to make. Select bag A and win 40 grand <laughs> for us. <laughs> or select bag B and win an eight-pound advantage for your team at the weigh-in. Here's my disadvantage. Money is a huge temptation for me. My family and I have been through a ringer that I hope no one else ever understands. People have no idea. I need the money badly. All right, you had two choices up there. Tell us about those choices. Well, we did. We had two choices. One was the money. It was $40,000. Wow. But only for us. Oh. <laughs> or a really great weight advantage at the next weigh-in of eight pounds for the whole team. Wow. And that's what we took. Okay. Yeah. I mean, usually when you think of Richard Hatch, you think of the villain. I mean, like, that's been his portrayal all along. But yet, instead of choosing that money for themselves, they gave our team an eight-pound advantage, and I'm blessed to have them as teammates. That is a big, big advantage. Huge. That basically huge. sums up to one pound for each person on Team Delvet. Team Jen, you got your work cut out for you. Roberto, tell me what you're feeling right now. I let my team down. There's steps up there that I should have conquered and I didn't. I gotta get back to the gym today and, and make those eight pounds up myself. Get back to that range, you got a lot of work to do. Congratulations, Red Team, and we'll see if you made the right decision later. I'll see you guys back. Coming up, the weigh-in is tonight. Think about that challenge. It's 10 times worse when you lose a weigh-in. Not us tonight. And later, Roberto. I want redemption so bad. Last chance workout. Let's go. I don't care that we won a challenge. That doesn't matter in this house. But what really matters is this weigh-in. That's where your mind is. Those eight pounds are not going to be what defines us this week. Call me Debbie Downer, but eight pounds is a lot, and I'm a little bit concerned. Your extra teammate today is this eight pound ball. It cannot touch the ground. I need that ball in the air, Lauren, ball in the air. This is real, and it's the difference between keeping one of my members here or sending one home. And I'm not gonna let anybody on my team drop the ball. Amp it up, amp it up, amp it up. Not enough. Do you see why I need more? 82%, not enough. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Thank you. Way to step up. That's it. While we're working out, the, this eight pounds, it's not just eight pounds now. It feels like it's getting heavier and heavier. Find your name. If your number does not say 95 to 100%, I am not happy. Team Don't Vent, Team Jen, the way it is tonight. You better leave it all on the floor. You better do exactly what these coaches tell you. Guys, Bob is up there watching you, checking you. Ah. He's been here for 16 ah. seasons. Show him you belong. Ah. Every time we're like, we, we take a gas air and look up, and there's Mr. Bob. Big smile. He's so excited. Look at us. He, we're tearing them down, building them up. He's loving it. That's it. Hey, the couples that train together make babies together, don't they? Let's go. I chose you because you're competitive. I chose you because you push each other. Now push this team right now. Jen, she told us right off the bat that you guys are going to be our leaders. You know, and the very first challenge, we failed. You know, we have to come back. So, yeah. 
we do have to prove something. Think about that challenge. It's ten times worse when you lose a weigh-in. Not us this week. Not us tonight. Come on. Being the biggest guy here, I'm hoping I have the largest amount uh, lost this week. And uh, if that happens, that will at least give me a little sense of relief from, uh, you know, feeling like uh, I let the team down a little bit. Last chance. Let's go. You going home tonight? No. You going home tonight? No. You going to fight some more? The eight-pound advantage is great, but I'm here because I'm learning to not use things as a crutch. That's it, Brittany. More, harder, stronger. I'm done with crutches. Yes, I love it. Let's go. I'm here to stand on my own two feet and know that I can do it with or without the eight-pound advantage. Three, two, nine. <sighs> you were worried that you were letting the team down? Show up now. My dad might be the oldest, and I might, you know, be behind everybody physically, but neither one of us can go home. I'm not going home now. Dude, you guys are, like, changing the look in your eyes. I see it in you, and I see it in you. You're here for a reason, to figure out why you have so much weight on your heart. How do we remove that? You know how? You stand up. You stand up. And you say, okay, I'm in pain, but pain is not in me. You hear me? Okay. You gotta forgive yourself. This can't go on right now. I was waiting for something to start. I'm waiting for permission to be great. Let's go. The way in is tonight. So I have to get myself together and I can do it here. How hard are you willing to go? Right hand behind you, right hand behind you. Put your right hand behind you. I told Felicia that she would be the first to go home to motivate her. I think you're gonna be the first to go home. I need you to prove me wrong. And it's working. More than that, last chance workout. Right now, I do not like Dolvet. I'm not responding to the way he trains me. Give me more than that. Hey, come on. More, more, let's go. Dolvet and I are just not getting along. More, more, more! Push yourself! I know I will prove Dolvet wrong, that I'm not going to be the first one to go home and show him I'm here. And it's not because of you. It's because of me. Wow. Wow. You see this? You've been holding out. You have been holding out. This looks amazing. I mean, look at this place. If this week has taught me anything, it's that this is a brand new Biggest Loser. Come on into my weigh-in room. <laughs> and something tells me everything I thought I knew about the weigh-in has been thrown out the window. Well, guys, I told you that we were going to be making a lot of big changes here at the ranch. That goes for this weigh-in room, too. Because this season, you're not going to be facing the Biggest Loser scale. You're going to be facing two of them. One for Team Jen and one for Team Dolvet. I'll call one member from each team to weigh in side by side. That way, we can watch how things are stacking up all night long. OK. After everyone is weighed in, the team with the highest percentage of weight loss will be safe for one more week. The two players with the lowest percentage of weight loss on the losing team will fall below the yellow line. And then your team will decide who's going home. All right, Team Delvet, you guys won an eight pound advantage at the challenge. So we're gonna start you guys off with those eight pounds. Your percentage is 0.36 starting off. Just stand in there. All right, it's time for your very first weigh-in. Aaron from Team Delvet. My first. And Hope from Team Jen. Come on up. What do you think, baby? Do you okay. think? Go get it. The first to weigh in out of everyone, that's scary. Because you have to set the bar. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> But being on the scale, stripped down, it's the most vulnerable I've ever been. All right, Aaron, 
Have you ever been on a stage that was a scale? No. Before? <laughs> this is definitely new. <laughs> you can't hide anything. The numbers don't lie. All right, Aaron. Your current weight is. Your starting weight was 238 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> 228 pounds. You lost 10 pounds. Woo! Look at Team Del Bad giving you all that. You did it, girl. Woo! That's what I wanted. I wanted a double digit. <laughs> When was the last time you ever lost 10 pounds in a week? <laughs> when I was really unhealthy. <laughs> and I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> you know, so many people, like, they love my attitude and they love my personality, and I want to love myself the way people love me. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> love that. So to see you up here, getting, reaching your goal and celebrating, we're down here celebrating with you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Double digits, mama. Good for you. Woo! Hope, how you feeling over there, girl? A little nervous right now. What are you thinking over there? I've learned this week I've got to push myself. I want to have a kid more than anything in the world. <laughs> Losing weight, I have to do that for myself. My husband can't do that for me. Jen can't do that for me. I have to be proud of who I am and what I stand for. It's in you, and you can gain your life back. You can gain your health back, so you can start building this family. Well, let's see how you did, okay? Hope, your starting weight was 232 pounds. Your current weight is... 's a little competition going. I tell hope all times I hope you could ever just learn to love yourself how much farther ahead you're gonna be I mean there it is it's on the scale. Are you starting to love yourself a little bit right now? Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right let's look at your percentages. Team Delvet, your team percentage is 0.81 percent okay okay that's right. Team Jen your team percentage is. 0.44%. I'll take it. Let the games begin. Ladies. I mean, I lost 10 pounds. I'm on top of the world at this moment. Finally. Thank you, Lord. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Next, we're going to weigh in Jackie and Lauren from Team Jen. <laughs> Come on up, ladies. Oh, yeah, they see. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. The first week was so difficult for me because I'm not good at managing my emotions. You know, I keep everything internal, but I haven't even scratched the surface of the things that are wrong in here and in here. And I know that if I go home, they won't get dealt with. Lauren, your starting weight was 234 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 223 pounds. You lost 11 pounds. Yay! I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy well, with I mean, that. it doesn't, uh, it seems like it's the old hat to you, right? <laughs> no, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. For me, it just seems like when you do an accomplishment like this, it's almost like you don't even want to take that in. It's you like constant. It's constant what? It's like I want to escape in here sometimes. It's like you can't crawl out of here and it's. I know, it's like you found this, you found this real comfort in your head with all those negative voices. This is the house that you can change that. When you said 
crawl out. I was thinking let go. It's almost like you, you're trying to get out of your head. I'm, I'm thinking we'll just let go of the, let go of what you're holding on to. Let it out, okay? Jackie, you are stressing me out. <laughs> I mean, you're so nervous. Talk to me. I need well, to know what is going on. Well, standing here in this makes me nervous to begin with. I spent the six, past 16 years covering this up uh -huh. and hiding it. So standing on this stage, totally exposed, I feel very vulnerable. And I'm not used to that feeling. You know, I'm used to being the strong one. And right now, I just, I'm just scared. Well, let's get you out of your misery. How about that, all right? All right, please. OK, your starting weight was 304 pounds. Your current weight is. You're in the 200s. You're out of those 300s. Goodbye, three. I mean, do you see these pictures? They're not pretty. But that's what got me the 14 pound. Team Delvet, your percentage is. 1.44%. We'll take it. Team Jen? Here we go. 0.92%. Okay. Ladies? Okay. Woo! Stop. Felicia. <laughs> and Vicky. Vic, Vic? For Team Jen. Come on up, ladies. Delvet saying that I'm going to be the first person to go home. All week long, I've tried to do what it takes to make Delvet eat his words. I got my footing around the last chance workout, but is that enough to prove him wrong? Because the last thing I want to do is prove him right. Felicia, your starting weight was 234 pounds. Your current weight is. Felicia, your starting weight was 234 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 220 pounds. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited by that. <laughs> no bad, 14 pounds. 14 pounds, rough week. She pulled it off. That's a number of focus right there. You have to celebrate that. I am proud of you. <sighs> Hi, Vicky. How you doing over there? I'm nervous. I've ate off all my lipstick. <laughs> Vicky, your starting weight was 237 pounds. Your current weight is. Let's check in on the percentages. Team Delvet, 2.07%. Team Jan, 1.4%. Good job, ladies. I've almost died on the ranch, but look what I've done on the scale. Limp pounds on a ranch, on a new scale, on a new scale. <laughs> I've got some good news right now, Felicia, Lauren, with two people below you, you are safe for another week. Congratulations. Still bet you thought I was going to be the first to go home, but you were wrong. <laughs> okay, next we're going to weigh in Richard from Team Delvet and Colby oh. from Team Jen. At this point, I do think Aaron and I made the best choice we could by selecting eight pounds rather than taking $40,000 for ourselves. Wouldn't that be nice if that pays off on the scale? Richard, your starting weight was 314 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> your current weight is 301 pounds. Go bet. You know, I'll take the 13 pounds. I'm like Richard. I expected more, but it's a I'm good percentage. I'm proud of it, yeah. but it's not what I wanted. Understood. Thanks, Dolvet. You're welcome. Hi, Colby. 
Hey, Mr. Bob. How you feeling over there, my friend? We've all took some bumps and bruises over the week and hope we don't let the team down. You know, that's that's why we're here. It's your husband up there, huh? <laughs> it is. But no matter what, he's never let me down. She loves you. <laughs> she loves you. Lot of love. Lot of love. Your starting weight was 339 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 321 pounds. It's time to find out what your percentages are. Team Dolvet, 2.66%. And Team Jen, your percentage is? 2.18%. These teams are neck and neck right now. Coming. I'm so excited about losing 18 pounds. I've probably lost 18 pairs of socks, but I have never lost 18 pounds of anything. I get inside. <laughs> it goes back to, you know, we put our trust in Jen, and, you know, Jen, she produced. <laughs> Next, we're going to weigh in Whitney for Team Delvet and Sarah for Team Jen. <laughs> Team Jen is getting really close to us. And I'm nervous because I feel like, OK, maybe I could be a huge deciding factor on whether, you know, we make or break this tie. Well, Whitney, let's get to it, OK? Your starting weight was 253 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 243 pounds. You lost 10 pounds. Sarah, your starting weight was 267 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> Sarah, your current weight is 250 pounds. You lost 17 pounds in one week. <laughs> Rob, your daughter, up wow. here right now, 17 pounds she lost. That's my baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you are a remarkable daughter. You're a wonderful mother and a wonderful wife to your husband. I seen you when you were 18 and 19, when you were self-assured and full of confidence. And I'm seeing it coming back this week, little by little. I love you. Thank you, Daddy. All I can think about right now is when you were talking about how your dad is your hero. The way it looks from here, you're his hero right now. All right, let's see your percentages. Team Delvet, your percentage is? 3.11%. Team Jen, your percentage is? Yeah! 2.92%. Oh, they're coming. They're coming to get us. Next, we're going to weigh in Steven from Team Delvet. And Rob from Team Jen. Well, it's important tonight as I step up on that scale to prove not only something to my baby girl and to my team, but to me also, that I belong here, that I can do this, and that I can be the man that uh, I used to be and uh, the man I want to be for my family, for my wife. Rob, your starting weight was 326 pounds. Your current weight is... Current weight is 306 pounds. You lost 20 pounds. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm so encouraged by him because he continues to do stuff harder than I do, and it just pushes me to do more because he does, and I'm so proud of him. 
Thank you. All right, Stephen. Let's see how you did, okay? Okay. Your current weight is... 298 pounds. You lost 11 pounds. I didn't think I'd make it through first day of training camp and see the pitches, pushing myself to the max. And I'm happy to be out of 300, but I expected more than that. Bad in double digits, but I was hoping for more. All right, so let's see the team percentages. Team Delvet, 3.60%. And Team Jen? Well, for the first time tonight, Team Jen has taken the lead from Team Dolvet. Uh huh. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm on cloud nine. Yeah. <laughs> that eight pound deficit is finally gone. I can't wait to see what the other guys weigh in. All right, it's time to weigh in Toy for Team Dolvet and Lewis for Team Jen. Woo! Yeah, boy. Give me another week, please. This week has been very emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, everything. And I'm worried that I might have hit my stride too late. So I am scared to get on this scale. I watched you in that last chance workout. Did you think it was going to be that hard? No. It's been one week. I feel like a year. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That's how it should feel. That's, That's how, it how it should feel. Absolutely. All right, Toy, your starting weight was 316 pounds. Your current weight is... 308. Your current weight is 308 pounds. You lost eight pounds. It's not good enough. It took me a minute to get my rhythm in. And you don't have a minute here. You have to hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. You have it in you. You have to make taking care of yourself a part of your life. It starts right now, today. Lewis, let's see how you did. Your current weight is... the 290s, you're in the 280s now. Congratulations. 23 pounds. Whoa! That was awesome, man. Now it's time to rub it a little on Roberto's side. See what he could get. Team Delvet, your percentage is 3.96%. Team Jen. Four point eight percent. Get over here. <laughs> Brittany, you're up for Team Dolvet. And Roberto, you're up for Team Jen. I want redemption so bad. I wasn't able to get to the top of the building and the ladders. And this is my chance to show the team that I've been working really hard and that, uh, yes, I deserve a spot on this team. Roberto. Your current weight is... 324 pounds. Yeah. But you know what, Bob? I've seen that number before. I've seen it constantly, and I'm not going to be satisfied until I see a number I haven't seen in a long time, so. What's so important about your story this week is an important lesson for all of us in this room. The road to success is not going to be linear. It's not this perfect line. You will fail your way to success, and I think that this might be one of the first times in a while you didn't let a failure get in the way of your success. 
You're the man, bro. <laughs> yeah. All I have to say is this. I was there at the challenge with you guys. I saw your faces when you guys lost that challenge. And I was just like, you know what? Maybe this is exactly what they needed. Mm -hmm. Because look at your faces now. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Brittany, you're the last person to weigh in for Team Delvet. Pressure, huh? Oh, a whole lot of pressure. All right, Brittany. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 246 pounds. You lost seven pounds. Good job, Brittany. Good job. That's a pound a day, Brittany. A pound a day. Team Delvet, your percentage is 4.28%. Team Jen, your percentage is? Congratulations, Team Jen. You won the first land. Being under the yellow line, I definitely didn't want to be here, especially not with my aunt. This is not what I saw for us. I saw two women that were finally getting a hang of things and getting their lives back. I just saw better than that. Great job. I'm really sorry to say, Team Delvet, you lost the way in. And Toy and Brittany, as you can see, you're below the yellow line. And one of you will go home. Team Jen, head on back to the house, get some rest. I'm sure you're going to need it because your trainer is going to kill you tomorrow, I can yeah. imagine. <laughs> All right, you guys, say goodbye to your trainer. Bye. See you soon. You guys have a very important and tough decision to make. I will see you down in the elimination room. You've seen how much of a difference the biggest loser can make in the lives of our contestants. Last time. Let's go. Now you can visit our Biggest Loser Resort and learn the same real-world skills that we're teaching our players. Go to BiggestLoser.com for more. Have a seat. This season's all about choices, temptation, making decisions. This is one of the hardest decisions that you'll have to make in this house. Brittany, Toy, you're both below the yellow line. There's no easy way to do this tonight. So now it's time to hear from your team. We'll start with Richard. This is uh, no easy decision whatsoever. I'm not certain that the woman I voted for realizes how strong she is. I think the person I'm sending home can do it on her own. I hope she realizes she can do that. My vote is for Brittany. All right, Brittany, that's one vote for you. Jackie? I went back and forth in my head over and over again, and I couldn't make the decision, Bob. I just, I simply couldn't. So, um, I wound up going with the lowest percentage. I'm sorry, but I voted for Toy. All right, that's one vote for Brittany, one vote for Toy, and we have four votes left. Felicia, let's see who you voted for. One of these ladies is strong and can do this on their own, and the other, she needs more time. So my vote is for Brittany. 
Brittany, that's two votes for you. Aaron? You know, I don't want to send anybody home. <sighs> and I'm still sitting here wondering if I made the right decision. But I had to make a decision. I'm sorry, Brittany. <laughs> I'm <too> you. <laughs> We have three votes for Brittany and one vote for Toy. Brittany, if you get one more vote, you'll be eliminated. Steven? Both these ladies deserve to be here. But I thought about both ladies and who I thought would be able to do a better job at home and who really needs to stay here. And I decided to eliminate Brittany. Sorry, Brittany. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Brittany, I'm sorry to say that you're not going to be the biggest loser. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you believe in yourself. <laughs> you stop blocking yourself, okay? You have an opportunity. You kill it, you hear me? Kill it, because you got this, okay? Toy needs this. You've got it. Trust me, God does everything for a reason. He only used me to get her here. I'm okay I'm with so that. Sorry. It's okay. I'm not ready to go home yet because I feel like there's so much more that I need to learn. I'm tired of allowing fear to drive my life. I'm taking the keys and I'm driving it from now on. And I'm looking forward to a brand new me. America, the next time you see me, I will be a strong, confident woman that knows what she wants in her life. Hey, everybody. It's me, Brittany. When I started, I weighed 253 pounds. Today, I weigh a total of 229 pounds, losing 24 pounds together. I've been exercising regularly, eating healthier, and I have started a new relationship. Just landed in Orlando on my way to see my baby. He's even decided to start losing weight with me. A great support system will take you many places, and I'm very thankful for that. One of the best gifts that I got from being on the ranch was that I have a one-year membership free with Planet Fitness and I love it. Since losing 24 pounds, I feel great. I feel accomplished. In my closet is currently a few items that I never wanted to part with because you always sell yourself in the back of your head. I'm gonna fit into that one day. Mom, Sean, you ready? Yeah. So that one day is like today, it's right now, it's here. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Mom, I'm happy for you. Don't cry. It's like, yes. Monday. This week is all about food. The season's just begun, but temptation is about to take them down. Whoo! What? New Biggest Loser, next Monday at 9 8 Central on NBC.